so lesson number one has been learned. I came to Green Lake State Park. I was told the lake's beautiful. I've been here for 12 hours. I still have yet to see the lake. I think it's maybe, I don't know how to switch it. Somewhere down there, uh, down there. But uh, I was on the website and they told me that I put RV in there and I put campsite and all this other stuff. And I ended up with uh, a campsite, like literally a campsite. When I came in, they had me booked in 133 and for an RV, 133 is this guy here. I don't know if you can tell by the picture, but it's pretty much so at an angle. And I was like, well, that's gonna be pretty hard to, to get level and everything. So I moved down to this one. And of course it's nighttime when I get here. And I moved down here to this one and I was able to get it level. It's got a pretty steep slope to it. And uh, I had to take the front of this thing all the way down to nothing. Let's see, there. I wish I could figure out how to turn this thing, but took it all the way down to there. And it poured down rain all night last night. And if you look behind me, it's pretty freaking tree covered. Pretty tree covered. And uh, so the satellite did not love me at all. Um, and so I hot spotted. I do have good hot spot on my phone, but uh, it's a muddy freaking mess. And uh, so I called up there today because I walked over there, and these RVs all had hookups and everything. And uh, so I called up. Sure enough, they got a spot available now. This is going to scrap a half a day because I'm going to have to move out of here. I'm actually probably going to have to use the four-wheel drive to even pull myself out of this hole. But uh, much better spot on the other side. So we're going to go down there. We're going to take the e-bike down and uh, go to the office. And I'm going to switch over to a better spot. I went over and checked it out earlier today. And uh, I'll upload this thing when, uh, when I've gotten settled over there. Take care. Mess up. I guess number one um so i don't think i'm the only one who's messed up because there's other dents in the sidewalk here but i was literally relocating from over there to up here right there and so i just basically threw everything on the trailer and said Eh, whatever put one chain on put the ball on threw everything in the cab and and bungee corded everything else together well that made a lot of noise and i'll show you here shortly so this was a costly mistake i don't know the video shows upside down that's funny but all right I had tied up with one of the chains because I only had one of the chains moving over here and uh, it came off while I was driving over so I had to go buy a new one it's the Sway Control and it cost me a hundred bucks so uh, even though I'm prepared like a Boy Scout don't do that don't forget like comment and subscribe Thank you for watching.